going on everyone? Elliot here from Movie Files, sharing with you all a new movie review, and this time is for the film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is a non-spoiler review, and I'm just going to tell you right up front. I just came out of the theater probably about two hours ago, had an early screening, missed the first one about a week ago, but I was able to make the second one. So glad I was able to see it. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, I love this film. I'm going to talk about all the things I loved about it, but first, I want to welcome all the newcomers here to Movie Files. If you haven't already, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, as well as unboxing videos. So definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. With that, let's just jump right here into this review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Man. Start off by saying, number one, we have three directors, Bob Bruschetti, um, we have Peter Ramsey, and Rodney Rothman. And this film was written by Ro uh, Rodney Rothman, and as well as Phil Lord, who also produced this film, which is partner Chris Miller. How the creators in this film were able to just bring this story together, which, by the way, could have been complex. I'm not going to, again, non-spoilers, you can read the synopsis on IMDb, Wikipedia, watch the trailers, do whatever you want. I'm not going to get into all that stuff, but how they were able to tell this story under two hours, giving us a Miles Morales origin story, mixing in other Spider-Men, Spider-Women, and Spider-Pigs into this film was just incredible. I was so engaged, guys. It was so entertaining. I can't think of a film this year or uh, there was quite a few films that I really enjoyed some some five out of five this year that you guys can see on our channel here but I from the beginning all the way to the end I was just smiling and it wasn't just because of the jokes it was literally because I was just so enjoyed by what was going on on the screen I mean everything this this film just feels good the music was great and I'm just I'm I wanted to kind of break it down like I normally do in our reviews, but I'm, again I'm coming off this high of this film. So I mean the music was great in this film, the animation style, the way that it was shot. I've never seen anything like this before. You've heard it probably before in previous reviews. Which this film, as as of the last time I checked, is 100 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. This is something that just is ripped right out of the comic book, which for comic book fans, you're going to love it. For just a casual fan of Spider-Man or movie fan, you're still going to appreciate what you're seeing on the big screen. The animation was great. And again, I just love how the story was there. The characters were phenomenal. Again, we get our introduction, our first big screen introduction to Miles Morales. You get, I love that the first probably 15, 20 minutes there's not a lot of action going on, to be honest with you. It's more of a story. You, you, you're, you're engaging the story. You're meeting Miles Morales, his parents, his dad is a police officer. You're, you're meeting his mom. You're seeing he's going off to school, a school he just really doesn't enjoy. I mean, I just love that they set that portion of the movie up because it is a Miles Morales story mixed in with these other fantastic, amazing characters. But I love that they were able to give us an origin story, mix in kind of what's this world about, what's he's all about, and then all the craziness and, and, and enjoyable moments uh, ensue after that. And I really enjoyed that. Again, just kind of touching on these characters without spoiling anything. I thought that the, the standouts were really, other than the, and I won't give away who voiced these particular characters, but I mean, I might as well just go over the cast. I mean, you have Jake Johnson, you have uh, 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 Shamik Moore, who's great. Uh, you have Haley Steinfeld, Mahersha Ali, uh, uh, Brian Henry. I mean, the cast is great. I mean, Spider Gwen Stacy was great. I loved her, uh, her story, her character arc throughout the film, and I hope to see more of her. I believe it was announced either earlier this week or last week that we're going to get spinoffs, which I love, and I hope we get. Apparently, they're going to do an all-female uh, Spider-Man type of movie, hopefully being led by Gwen Stacy and other characters. I love that, and I just want to see all these characters be spinned off. But I love Gwen Stacy. I love Spider-Ham. Uh, uh, Spider-Noir was great, uh, but really for me... Seeing Shamik Moore as Miles Morales and Jake Johnson as the older Spider-Man, just such great chemistry, worked so well. I mean, again, kind of going to Miles Morales because he was the lead in this movie. He was so great, so fascinated by his story and loved his character arc from the beginning all the way to the end and, and, and just can't wait to get back into this universe. Morgan wasn't able to see this movie with me, uh, so I definitely want to see this with her and, and see this film multiple, multiple times. And once it hits DVD, or uh, DVD, look at my talking like I'm early 2000s. Can't wait till it comes out on Blu-ray and digital copies. I'm definitely picking that up day one. Such a, a wonderful world. I mean, there's so many Easter eggs, so many things going on in this film, guys. I, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, again, trying to go back to just piecing this review together. The action was great. The set pieces were really good. This film was hilarious. I mean, it, it didn't have to try hard to be funny. It was naturally funny. 
And then the one thing I really love, it plays to both audiences in regards to this being an animated film. And of course, you think of animation, you think of kids, which this is targeted for kids. And in my theater, there were a lot of parents with their younger kids. And I'm here to tell you guys, for all the viewers that have kids, your kids are going to enjoy this film. Because all the kids in this film, I I look at, because I have a lot of nieces and nephews, no kids of our own. But for me, when a kid is not yelling or screaming or whatever the case may be, they, they tend to be bored when that happens. But the theater was not silent in the regards that people were bored, but they were engaged in this movie. So the kids seemed to really enjoy this film. And the adults, every time it was a good, you know, funny reference, this movie definitely is makes fun of the 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 the, the good, the bad, and ugly throughout this Spider-Man mythology that we got on the big screen and the small screen on television screen. So I love that it poked fun of itself, kind of in, in the vein of what uh, Batman Lego did, but just in a better way, in my opinion. But I think that, you know, kids will love this. And, and again, the parents are definitely going to love it. Uh, again, there's so many great cameos, great Easter eggs in this film. I thought, again, it was a really well-paced film uh, throughout. And again, I just love the characters in this film. Um, you know, from the heroes to the villains to the side characters, I just thought all in all, it was just great. Uh, if I were to be, you know, nitpick or any negatives, I will say this film, I, for whatever reason, it wasn't 3D. I don't believe they made a 3D version of this film, but at times it was kind of blurry, which is really a nitpicking thing. And it was a couple times throughout the film that that kind of happened to me. But the other thing, I just felt like the main villain, again, not getting too in-depth in the storyline and in the spoilers, but the main villain, which was Kingpin, which you can see in the trailer, uh, was a little underdeveloped. You know, you, you saw the Kingpin tropes that you've seen on Daredevil or maybe in the 90s animated Spider-Man show that I love. Uh, it kind of had those tropes and nothing really expanded upon. So that was a little underdeveloped. But other than that, guys, the blurry, the Kingpin background... Doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really affect my score. I'm going to go and give this film a 5 out of 5, guys. This film was literally so entertaining. It was just so much fun. I cannot wait to revisit this world. Not only is it just a great movie in general, uh, a great Spider-Man movie. One of my favorites in the franchise. Definitely up there as one of my favorite for sure. A great comic book film, but just a great movie in general, guys. I definitely can't recommend this film enough. I would love to know what you guys thought of this movie. If you've seen it already, early screenings, or once you've seen the movie, let me know what you guys thought of this film. This is such a great year for Spider-Man. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I haven't played the game, but I heard the Spider-Man game, game is great. We're obviously getting Spider-Man Far From Home trailer pretty soon, so it's a great time to be a Spider-Man fan. Say what you will about Venom. You can see my trailer, my um, um, review here on that movie. I enjoyed it for what it was. So, again, what a great year for Spider-Man. Spider-Man to the universe. Uh, Spider-Man to the universe. It should be in the universe. I hope people go and see this film uh, because it's definitely worth it. It's one of my favorite animated films of the year and one of my favorite films of the year in general. So, there you have it. Five out of five. Thought it was a great film. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this film as well as just share this video, like this video, and comment below. And again, like I said up top, if you haven't already subscribed to our page, check out our other content. Just did a trailer reaction for Captain Marvel, uh, Avengers Endgame, so check that out on our channel, as well as keep your eye out for more content that we have coming out pretty soon. Uh, letting you guys also know that we have a contest going. It'll be in the description below. We're giving away a digital code for Deadpool 2, so definitely check that out on our Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to try to get Morgan to go see this movie when it comes out in theaters again because I can't wait to see it. But thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.